I literally look fucking Valentine's Day as shit, like I'm the poster child for Valentine's Day, including the hearts. Hey guys, it's Michelle, and today's video is going to be all the different Pretty Little Liars theories that I have for you guys. I love the show Pretty Little Liars, I don't know if you know this about me, but I've been watching it literally since it aired, like, I don't even know, how long ago was that? Seven years ago? Eight years ago? Or something ridiculous, like it's fucking insane how long the show has been on, but I've been watching ever since every single episode and I love it. Even though a lot of people are like, ugh, I just need it to end. I'm like, fuck no, I don't want it to end. I'm like gonna cry. Um, I did cry actually, but yeah, I thought I would do my different theories considering last time, I wish I'd made this video. This will contain spoilers by the way. Um, it, when Cece was like announced that she was A, I was so fucking pissed because I literally called it and not only did I call Cece being A and like you can, whatever, like you could be like, oh you're lying or like you just whatever, you take my word for it, I don't really give a shit because I obviously don't have evidence of me saying this. But literally, I remember I saw this picture at the end of season, I think 5B, we found out who she was at the beginning, or at the end of 5, 6A? something of the sorts. When they got out of the dollhouse and when they were in the room where they were watching the old films, there was a video of two little boys and they made it seem like one of them was Jason. One of them had blue shoelaces and one of them had pink shoelaces and I was like, oh I feel like the second, I feel like the pink shoelace boy is going to be transgender and they're gonna be CC. Like I dead ass, like I'm not even kidding, like I thought that, I like thought of that. And like, I don't know why, I just thought like, oh like it was just like kind of weird, like it was like, first of all, they don't do anything for no reason, like there's a reason behind everything that they do. I just thought that that was like really weird that they decided to put one of the kids in blue shoelaces and one of the kids in pink and I just made the correlation that that was it was like struggling with gender identity which is why he gravitated towards pink things which is considered to be more female but like i don't know it's just like you know it's just considered so i mean i don't know that's just like where my mind went to um and an, like a kind of actual conspiracy theory about pretty little liars is that they had no idea what they were doing when like this was not supposed to be the outcome and I guarantee you that's true because they would definitely have not have made Cece like date her brother like that's fucking weird so I don't know that's all a little suspicious <laughs> I actually genuinely think that they had no idea that they were gonna plan it like this till probably like a season before something ridiculous so that's pretty interesting but I have different theories because while we do know Cece was A, we don't know who killed Cece, we don't know who killed Jessica De Laurentiis, we don't know a lot of fucking shit to be honest. And then we also don't know who Uber A is because we assume AD is Archer Dunhill aka Dr. Rollins, Allie's ex-husband who is actually a psycho so like we'll get into it. but. I'm gonna first start with the theory of who I think killed Cece Drake. We all know that Cece is Mary Drake's daughter um, that was like revealed and stuff. So we know Cece is Mary Drake's daughter, however we don't know who the fuck Cece's dad is. Like he could literally be anybody. My mind went like was thinking about all the different people that it could connect to and slash how it could connect in the long run and I thought about it and I thought Tom Marin, Hannah's dad. And the reasoning behind this is because PLL always likes to pull people, bring them back in, like reel, reel the motherfuckers back in. So I was like Tom Marin, like he hasn't been talked about in a while, he's irrelevant but somehow Tom Marlene King will bring that bitch back in. By the way, when I refer to Marlene King, I'm talking about the executive producer of Pretty Little Liars is Marlene King. So she always has a tendency to just rip people back to the like, like just bring them back into the show and make them have new like agendas and you know, so I figure, I don't know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't put it past me if she brought back Hannah's dad to be Charlotte's dad as well. And I feel like it could make sense in a lot of ways. We do know that Hannah's dad left Hannah's mom um, and like, the earlier seasons and left him for some other woman so maybe it's not that weird for him to have cheated on Hannah's mom because obviously Cece is a little bit older than Hannah so I don't know we don't really know the timeline necessarily of when Hannah's parents got together but it's a possibility that he could have had sex with Mary Drake and had Cece but 
either A, he knew about it, and this is what I think, like, this is what makes the most sense to me, is that he knew about it. Let me, like, read from my notes. I have, like, legit notes on this. And I think that Cece, I think that Cece is Tom's daughter, and he knew about it, but he kept it secret because, I don't know, because also Mary Drake was just kind of psycho. They were in and out of Radley. It was just all like a mess and I feel like he probably just didn't want to be a part of it. And also maybe it was in, in the beginning of him and Ashley Marin's relationship so he decided it would make the most sense for him to keep it secret because maybe he cheated on Ashley Marin in the beginning and before they got divorced, obviously. So I don't know, maybe that could be like the reasoning he kept it secret in general. It also kind of makes sense because he kind of, like Hannah and Cece could kind of look alike in a sense I could see. Not only that, but it makes sense as to why he would actually kill her is because if he wasn't too close with his daughter but like kind of saw her on occasion, that could also, that could add up to the reason that Cece hated the girls in general. Like obviously, you know, she wanted to protect Allison and all that shit, but like not only that, but it kind of would suck having a father that you know is your dad, but like you can't, like you're a secret in a sense. He has his other daughter, aka Hannah, who he gets to, you know, be a father to. And like, I feel like it would just be a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit sad for Cece. And that could be reasoning for her hating on Hannah and everything like that. So that could be a reasoning for her to be a, in general, like a, just another motive. And not only that, but I feel like once Hannah's dad found out that it was Cece who was torturing the girls and brought them into the dollhouse, he wanted to kill her. He couldn't when they just found out because that's when she was like locked up. And after, once she got released, that's when he just decided to kill her. Or maybe even, she maybe even was going to tell Hannah that he, like, that they're secretly like half sisters. So, I don't know, that's just kind of like an interesting theory because I feel like, once again, I feel like PLL kind of pulls for straws and like brings back random people and like just try to keep it all, keep it all intertwined, if you will. Or I think maybe it's a possibility that this one's a little bit more far-fetched because I feel like Tom Marin wouldn't like kill somebody over this, but maybe he found out later that Cece was his daughter and he actually found out that she was transgender and then killed her for that reason. Once again, I feel like that one's a little bit far-fetched because I feel like Tom Marin wouldn't particularly do that. Like, you're not gonna kill somebody over that. Also, like, be that upset about it, about a kid that you don't even know was yours in the first place. So I feel like maybe he wouldn't have cared in general. So I believe, like, the first part of it more. But that's just, like, another option that they could do. Next, we're gonna go into who I think is Uber A. Colleen King tweeted or something. I'm actually not sure if this is even 100% true. I just heard this a lot, so I'm pretty sure it is true. But I think she tweeted a picture of the last Pretty Little Liars book and tweeted, like, at Sarah Shepard, the author of the Pretty Little Liars series, and said, keeping the last book close while I'm writing the finale. So I feel like it might be a little bit interesting to think that there could be a twin because if you don't know, in the last books of the actual Pretty Little Liars series, A was Allison's twin sister. So I don't think Allison is going to be the one with the twin because I feel like it's just way too fucking predictable and it would be kind of absurd. I think it's a possibility that Spencer is a twin and here are the reasons why. This theory goes back to when Hannah was captured at the end of 6B slash beginning of 7A because she like confessed that she killed Charlotte in quotations because they were trying to like catch Uber A. But at this point, it's also revealed that Spencer is Mary Drake's other daughter. So not only is she Charlotte's sister, but if Spencer were to have a twin sister, then that sister would also be Charlotte's sister. This sister would obviously be fucking pissed for killing off the other sister. So that is a possibility. She decided to capture Hannah because, or whoever killed Charlotte and wanted to know so badly who killed Charlotte because they wanted to get revenge for killing their sister. I think this twin is probably an identical twin. At some point, obviously, Spencer's parents had to adopt her. So I think they adopted Spencer, but didn't adopt this other twin who grew up around Cece and grew up around Mary Drake, who are both fucking crazy. Maybe the reasoning that, like, Cece wanted to, like, 
torture the girls and stuff and like torture her own sister is because she kind of had the life that like she never did like her and her other twin never had that life they never got to live a normal life they were always like were stuck in radley living like growing up in radley being raised by mary drake so i feel like that's a pretty interesting kind of way of looking at it when hannah was captured she dreamt that spencer was the one to help her out and in this dream, Spencer didn't have bangs, which is weird because she had bangs the entirety after the five year like gap. She had bangs the whole time. So that's kind of weird. I think I'm gonna die in here. No, I won't let that happen. This is a dream. You can't help me. You're not real, Spencer. Something real is actually existing as a thing or occurring in fact. I don't know what you're saying, but I'm glad that you're here. A dream is an experience. And an experience is real. Do you understand? Also, when Emily had a dream, in an earlier season, she had a dream about Allison when she was, like, kind of drugged out by, like, the gasoline of the car. Like, she got tricked into going into um, a barn and then, like, a car was turned on and, like, it was, like, locked. So... She was like high from like the gasoline kind of thing. She dreamt that Allison was the one who helped her out. She thought this was a dream, but it felt real, but then it ended up being real and it was actually Allison. So it wouldn't be the first time that they did this anyway. So maybe in Hannah's dream, it was actually Spencer, but by Spencer, it was Spencer's twin, if that makes sense. Stay with me. I know it's like kind of confusing, but that kind of adds up because in that case, the twin of Spencer found out that Hannah wasn't actually the killer and she kind of just wanted to fuck with her and like, but like let her out because she wasn't the killer of Cece. So she had no use for her in general. So maybe she wanted to like help her out and kind of trip her out in a way by giving her the dream illusion. I don't know, it kind of adds up, kind of is some holes, but I feel like they're gonna do something along those lines involved with Spencer because Spencer wasn't hurt that much in this past season. Like, I don't even think at all. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure since they got out of the dollhouse, Spencer has barely been tormented. And I don't know, it kind of makes sense why your own twin wouldn't torment you, but like your sister who was maybe like kind of jealous would, I don't know, it kind of makes sense. It's a little bit holy, like I said, but let me know what you guys think and who you guys think is Uber A. Other like little theories, I think Ren could be A, only because when we found out Archer Dunhill, aka Dr. Rollins, was crazy, he was secretly like British, so that's kind of weird because the only other British person in the show that we know is Ren. And also Ren's just kind of fucking sus, like why is he so nice and cute, like there's no way, like no bitch, no. You ain't that fucking cute and nice. We know you're fucking A. I said Marlene likes to wrap them back in and connect the dots. So it's a possibility. Another could be Maya. And I don't know if you guys remember Maya, but Maya actually died on the show. But so did fucking Allison. And I don't know, like, once again, Allie's not dead. So the way they found Allison's body and the way they found Maya's body is eerily similar. Like, same music same tone, same vibe, literally everything. Also in the same place, like it was just all very, very similar. And once again, I feel like this show doesn't do anything for no reason. It's never just coincidences. They're always, they always add up. I feel like maybe Maya is actually alive, but that also gives endless possibilities of who the fuck could be alive on the show that we thought was dead. So who really knows? But I don't know what Maya's motive would be to be A. I kind of think that she's just going to be alive. This person could also be Lucas. Um, there's no really reasoning for that. I just think that bitch is fucking weird. Like, I don't know. I just don't trust his ass. So. And of course, they could go the route of Allison having a twin. I don't think they'll do that. I just think that's too cliche and too much like the books. Like, if they were going to follow the books, they would have followed the books and not fucked everything in the ass. But... So, I don't know, could happen, not really sure. Last, like, little additive theory that I think could be possible is, like, explaining Jessica De Laurentiis' death is either she's not dead and I think she could be posing as Mary Drake and kind of have, maybe even have, like, a personality disorder or something of the sorts and just be fucking nuts or in general and just saying that she's Mary Drake, I don't know. Um, I just feel like, once again, when somebody's dead on this show, that don't mean they're fucking dead. So, that's a possibility. 
Or I think that Mary Drake could have killed Jessica, once again for reasoning unknown. Or Jessica could have killed Mary Drake and posed her as Jessica and then Jessica is acting like she's Mary Drake. If that makes sense. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know your Pretty Little Liars theories in the comments below. I would love to read them. I love looking at different theories. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram because I'm always posting fun little theories on there. And if you want to check out my latest video, click right here and click right here to subscribe for new videos every single day. And I will see all your little asses tomorrow. Bye!